Hi, this is Dave Jack, a superintendent of Fauquier County Schools with another edition of Checking In. Uh, this, this week's check-in question actually came from a bus driver who asked a very good question, and it's a good time to provide an update about stop arm cameras. If you recall, um, the school board passed a resolution whereby we can enter into a contract with a company who provides stop arm cameras for our buses, and what a stop arm camera does is uh, when the red lights are activated on a bus and the stop arm comes out, a, a camera is activated and if someone runs through the, the bus's stop sign, they take a picture of the license plate and then what happens from that point, of course, is their, the infractor is sent a summons and uh, they have to pay a fine, etc. So we entered into that contract, the school board passed a resolution, we developed a really great partnership with the local with our sheriff's department, uh, whereby they were in 100% support of this. Uh, in fact, the sheriff and I even did a PSA last school year about this very thing, and so we were sort of well on our way to getting this in place because uh, folks driving through bus stop signs has become really an epidemic problem, not just here but everywhere. Um, so long story short, there's a, there's been a hiccup locally because uh, there is a problem with the law relative to uh, an individual receiving a, uh, a summons uh, to appear versus in the mail um, with a, 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 a sort of a, an attached uh, fine. And I'm not a lawyer, but I, I know that um, the local judge here in Fauquier uh, ruled that uh, we could not use the stop arm cameras until there's an adjustment made to the law. So what we did was, of course, we reached out to our local legislators, what Mike Webert, uh, Cole, Scott Lingenfelter, Jill Vogel, and asked that they take a look, they'd be willing to take a look at the at the law and uh, state law and make this make it easier for us to implement the use of the stop arm cameras because we think they're very important. So uh, that's where it rests right now. Um, we are still kind of waiting. The company that we in, ended up entering into the agreement with has since folded, um, but they, they uh, we are entering into a, a new agreement, or hoping to enter into a new agreement with a different company. Um, but even if we do that, or when we do that, uh, until the law changes uh, and or there's a different interpretation of the law locally, we, we not, aren't able to use stop arm cameras. Um, if you want to help us in this endeavor, you are more than welcome to contact your legislator. Also, you don't need to contact the school board because the school board's aware they get it. Um, they're waiting. They have this. They have the same concern, and they're waiting for the same thing. So, uh, if you'd like to help, you can certainly contact one of those folks I mentioned, uh, Jill Vogel, Mike Webber. Uh, uh, Representative Cole and Scott Lingenfelter, and and I'm sure there it's not that there's a, I think it's just about time, and and these things take time at the state level. I don't think any of our legislators were opposed to this. I think it's just a matter of getting a bill before the general assemblies and, and changing the law so that our in our locality the um, the powers that be will will uh, give their blessing to the use of these cell phone cameras. So. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful to you, and please keep the good questions coming. Thank you.